This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. All right, let's do a couple more things before we get into the show. Earl Hebner is fired for allegedly selling company merchandise without company permission, or at least that's the wrap. And I've heard another version that says it was really just a major misunderstanding where they had like an embroidery hookup or maybe they were in that biz, but they were making like shirts and hats for the guys and girls on the crew and not necessarily setting up shop and selling stuff. What do you remember about the Hebner's run ending here? Because they had been such a big part of the company for so long. I think this took a lot of people by surprise. I remember being unfortunate and you know, it's one of those things. There are, there are times where things happen and you hear a lot of rumbling and you hear a lot of, uh, rumor and innuendo, but I never ever really got a full story one way or the other. Um, from anybody, I, I do know that the Hebners definitely, uh, had a hookup with somebody that did embroidery and guys had shirts and, um, jackets and different things made with them. And I don't know how everything else developed other than one day. Um, unfortunately they were gone. And I think that Dave and Earl, uh, both friends of mine are great guys, but I've never even talked to them about it. Um, in detail as to what actually happened. And it's just unfortunate because they, to me, they were two, uh, stand up guys that I've always enjoyed their company, but it was just, um, you know, so, sometimes you just don't know the whole story and sometimes it's better that you don't know. Well, I can understand that. I do want to ask one follow up though. There's a weird rumor out there that at the time, I don't know why this would even be the case. He had some bloated contract that maybe he felt like Vince wanted to get out of. Like the rumor I heard, and I can't believe this is even a real number I'm going to say out loud, but that he was making like nearly half a million dollars as a referee. And I just can't fathom that. I've never heard that until those words just came out of your mouth. Uh, Vince supposedly announces at the Ireland show that this is where the McMahon legacy begins. How important is Vince's Irish heritage to him? Well, Vince is very Irish. So, <laughs> um, well, what no, we know in wrestling is if he's very Irish, he's got a shillelagh. I mean, he's got all the gimmicks, right? Okay. What? Self-respecting Irishman does not carry a shillelagh at all times. Well, I didn't know that Vince did. Where does he keep it? Are, do you carry ah, the shillelagh? That's form? the secret. Okay. Well, I know once it's like, where time, are my lucky charms? Oh God. What? I don't think Vince wants to hear you say it like that. Well, how the fuck could you say it then? Me lucky charms. Me lucky charms. Jesus. Get Hornswoggle on the phone. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.